everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. And yesterday we had our standard tier list for the month of August. And today we are taking a look at Wild. Uh, standard, there was a lot of differences. There is a lot of new stuff popping up as well as a lot of old favorites with new cards in it. Wild, not much as of a shift. There's a, there's a kind of a reordering of the power level of decks, but overall not really many new archetypes or if any at all have really popped up. But there's definitely been a power shift of what the most powerful decks are. So let's take a look at the most powerful cards in Wild. And again, we're doing this on a three tier basis. Tier one being the absolute best decks in the format. Tier two being very good competitive decks that can compete and you can definitely hit Legend with. And tier three being more of like honorable mentions, kind of more fun decks or whatever you want to say. Or maybe decks have just fallen off a lot compared to where they were at just last month so let's take a look at the best decks in wild for the month of august 2020 so starting off with tier one there is the absolute undisputed best deck in wild right now and that is reno priest or raza raza priest whatever you want to call it it is the best deck in wild now and that's what i predicted when we went over my top five uh, most powerful standard and wild cards i put mind render is the top wild card because I just knew it was going to put Reno Priest over the top, and it has. But there was one card I also did mention in this exact same video was Lorekeeper Pulkit. Uh, this card has really been also arguably maybe more powerful in the deck, just ensuring you basically, you see the list here, it caps out at, at Anduin, and then you get Psychic Scream, you get Reno and Raza. Like, those are just insane cards. You're going to get Raza really quickly, you get a board clear, you get a full heal, and then you have Raza Anduin active, and it's ridiculous. And of course, Mind Render allows you to disrupt all of the combo decks that are very popular in Wild. And you have all the anti-aggro tools and your, your Highlander cards, your board clears, your healing. And you have an insane damage combo with Spawn of Shadows. So this deck can do literally everything. It is absurdly powerful. And yeah, it's very popular at all ranks for good reason. It's uh, pretty insane to see how much just a couple of cards can really put a deck over the top. But yeah, when they're that busted, it's not that big a surprise. Next on the list, we have a newcomer to the Tier 1 list. It hasn't been on there for ages and ages, but it's Kingsbane Rogue. This is the most powerful and popular aggro deck on ladder now, and it's all due to Secret Passage. Secret Passage is absolutely as busted as advertised. One mana effectively draw five from your deck, and you get to play whatever you get, and especially in Kingsbane Rogue where everything is absurdly cheap. You just get a bunch of weapon buffs or your weapon or cheap pirates and boom, you're good. And you also have Cutting Blade in the deck, a new draw card, which goes really well with Secret Passage because often your weapon is buffed and you play Secret Passage and you get to Cutting Blade for like zero mana. And then you get to keep those cards you draw if you choose not to play them because Secret Passage only returns the cards that started in your hand. So the deck is very explosive. You can have some of the most absurd starts like turn three, four lethals depending on how things go. And yeah just ridiculous there's a reason why sticky finger is now in the meta in wild and you can't really laugh at it anymore like that card is just kind of a must if you're playing any slower control deck or combo deck so yeah you want to go space king's bane rogue is the way to go and the last tier one deck is quest mage i'm still gonna put quest mage as tier one it struggles immensely to king's bane rogue it's the main reason a lot of people haven't seen it a lot for a little bit lately is because of its bad matchup with Kingsbane Rogue. But for the most part, its matchup spread against the field is still insanely good. It is still a good counter to Reno Priest. Mind Render does give you a chance against Quest Mage, but it certainly doesn't beat it. And there are some new additions. I'm highlighting a list here that runs the new 2-drop that gives you a, a random 1-cost spell. And it just makes your Book of Spectres more reliable. And your Star Scryer gets your better spells almost more often. And yeah, your Silk can counter Reno Priest basically beat every slow deck in the game still it just struggles against the hyper aggro decks like king's bane rogue and a couple of mention will uh will mention in the uh tier list later but yeah still an absolute powerhouse it's just not super popular at the moment due to king's bane and also the fact there's just not a lot of new in the deck it's not that much fun to play a deck that has relatively no new cards and trust me people will go start going back to it as soon as they uh they get bored of trying out new stuff and realize, yeah, Quest Mage is still ridiculously powerful. Now we're looking at Tier 2, and we have, starting with it, Malagos Druid. 
Um, Mally has, Mally goes through it, hasn't changed a heck of a lot, but there are two new key additions to the deck. You have Lightning Bloom and you have Nature Studies. And basically Lightning Bloom lets you cheat out your combo a heck of a lot faster. And Nature Studies lets you cheat out your ramp faster or maybe give you some additional reach or draw depending. I do find that the average spell, especially in the wild pool for Druid, can be pretty bad. But sometimes you hit that clutch naturalized, that mulch, I even had a recycle be really good. And it's just flexible. And of course, the rest of the deck is basically the same. You have your uh, your Psych Melon package. You have Geppetto, Sathravar, uh, Malagos, Aviana, Kuhn, all of that stuff. And yeah, it operates the same. The only big weakness that basically bumps this down a little bit from prior is it's a lot worse against Reno Priests now. It used to barely farm the Priests, but they draw Mind Render. They're likely going to nab a combo piece and then you lose. And that's pretty... Feels bad, man, a lot of the time. And you still don't beat Quest Mage on average. So you struggle against the aggro decks at time. It can be very difficult. But due to the, the consistency of the ramp and the insane high roll of the combo, it's still performing relatively well at high rank. So I definitely have to give it a high tier two. But it might fall down as things go along. We'll have to wait and see. Next, we have Odd Rogue. Odd Rogue, I haven't really mentioned, I think, ever on the tier list before. It's always been like a kind of a tier 3-ish aggro deck and not nothing really new about it but now there is some really good stuff going on again secret passage busted is advertised has really helped with it you have cutting class and you have that new three drop the three three that gives you plus two attack and that's really good gives you a four attack weapon on turn three so all this weapon centric stuff that was you know made this expansion is really helped odd rogue out and one of the problems with odd rogue before was it run out of fuel well with secret passage and cutting class it just doesn't really happen so odd rogue is really elevated into one of the top tier aggro decks in the game it has a bit more burst it has more reach and draw and yeah decks performing pretty well and is definitely a powerhouse now and our last tier two deck is even lock although this could definitely change this deck seems to be really good um even lock got a ton a ton of support in the latest set you basically have a four mana vile spine you have flesh giant which is just another additional giant and then, of course, you have Ray's Dead, which gives you even more giants. Like, this deck is so much value now. It used to be you could count on, like, okay, i got to deal with two Moltons, two Mountain Giants in the copy effects, and I'm good to go. Well, now they have, like, a million of them. And if you're not an aggressive deck that can't get through with, like, silence effects and all that, you're going to be in for a world of hurt because they can taunt up. And the, the value is just insane. And they're already starting to tech for, like, the combo matchups. You have, like, Mojo Master Zihi, you have Dirty Rat... And all sorts of stuff. This deck is a potential powerhouse. It might actually, could move up to be like a tier 1 deck. I'm going to wait and see on how it performs. But it's very popular at high ranks. And seems to be doing very well. It's uh, it's insane how just a few additions can really make a deck that was basically obsolete to be very powerful quite quickly. But yeah, these cards are very, very strong. And now we're taking a look at the tier 3 decks. And first, another Warlock deck, one which we highlighted on the channel quite recently, is Reno Lock. It also, you know, enjoyed some of the uh, additions from the new set, like Raise Dead. You um, also just can tech, tech out for everything, where you're stealing a Reno Priest hero power with uh, Finley and Grizzled Wizard, or you're stealing a Kingsbane we weapon with uh, Sticky Fingers. And of course, you have the Reno and Zephyrus and all of that. The deck just performs very well. It's just really bad against Quest Mage. It's like auto concede against Quest Mage. Even Lothab, it's it's tough to get you there. But you can beat up on aggro. You can have a fighting chance against most of the combo decks because you have Bran Rat. And with all like the couple of additions that have been added, it just feels like it's got enough of that value, enough of that extra punch to really get you there. And I've been enjoying it. I've been doing relatively well. And we'll see. Maybe. Maybe it's more of an honorable mention. It might not last on the tier 3 list, but I like the archetype, and the deck feels really sweet to play, so I'm going to put it there. Next, I have Pure Paladin as well. Uh, Pure Librum Paladin. Uh, it's a good deck in Standard. It's a good deck in Wild. You have a lot of cool cards you could throw into Wild. You have, like, Muster for Battle. You have Spike Ridge Steed, Shield and Milne Bot, all that kind of stuff. And, of course, all the new additions like Kaya Bessalura. You have First Day of School, things like that. The deck just has lots of potential in Wild. I feel like there's some refinement still needed there. I don't see it a lot at high ranks because it is vulnerable to a lot of the uh, more top tier decks. But across all ranks, I think it's been doing pretty well. Especially, uh, you know, it's just a very relatively easy to play deck. 
And that can be very helpful for somebody if they're just going for that kind of that easier legend climb. And yeah, definitely a powerful deck. We'll see, interesting to see how this one develops. And there's just so many powerful cards from uh, Skullman's Academy that just really put it over the top. And lastly, I will give a mention to Big Shaman. Uh, this deck didn't really get much new, but it got Lightning Bloom, which lets you cheat out uh, Ancestor's Call on like turn one or two. And I don't know many decks in the game that can deal with a turn two Yashiraj or Colossus of the Moon and things like that. The deck was already performing relatively well. A lot of people have had it like tier one. I still don't agree with that, so I'm putting it tier three. But the deck is doing very well, and just simply through the addition of Lightning Bloom, uh, the high rolls with this deck are just ridiculous now. I have not seen it a lot at High Legend. It's still... Still, because if you don't hit that high roll, it's very susceptible to things like Reno Priest that can Zeph out a hex or Psychic Scream your board away and just win the game on the spot. But overall, very powerful deck, and if you cheat out a giant taunt, you just, like, screw over. So many aggro decks, considering the Kingsbane Rogue deck, typically doesn't run Sap right now. It's mostly just, like, Doomerang, and, well, that only does so much work, so... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the tier list. Let me know in the comments below what you agree, disagree with. There's, again, at the beginning of a set, there are so many different possibilities for this. There could be tons of differences, opinions, and discrepancies. So, again, I always love to hear you guys' opinion. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Stay salty, my friends.